this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import your amp VSTs and the Reaper so you can use them for your tones. So this is just a simple process that I do um, when I like to add new VSTs and uh, different simulators into Reaper. And here is just an example site. This is VTAR Amps Blogspot. Um, I'm just going to select a random VST here. This is a zip Google Drive file, so I'm going to add it to my Google Drive. And I have my drive open. From here, right click and download. Okay, now that it's downloaded, I'm going to select my file path, save, and from here we can open. And all we need to do is extract all into the exact same file path. Now that it's extracted, we can go ahead and open Reaper. Okay, so we're here in Reaper. All we need to do is go up to the top right. Go all the way down to VST. You can add a path, you can edit the path list, or you can remove some. In this case, I'm just going to add a path. Select Apply, select OK, and from here, we'll close out Reaper, and open it back up again. And as you notice, this little message here means that it just scanned the new VST file path. Okay, so I'm just going to insert a new track, look for our new VST, here we go. And here is our new VST. So simple, easy, quick process. All we're doing is we're downloading the file from whatever site. And all we're doing is we're importing it into our file explorer holder. Then from there, we edit the path list in Reaper. And it should import the VST into your holder. That's about it guys. Thank you for watching this quick little tutorial. Stay tuned for more. Let me know if you guys want to see more like this. And peace.